1995, New Japan Pro Wrestling held a show in Satama, Japan, which had a six-man tag main event with Antonio Inoki, Tatsumi Fujinami and the Cobra coming out victorious over Black Tiger 1, Hulk Hogan and Samuel. Ten years later, in 1995, ECW held a show in the ECW Arena in Philadelphia, which saw Ian and Axel Rotten lose to the Pitbulls in a match where the losing team had to split, and Shane Douglas went to a 45-minute time limit draw against Tully Blanchard for the ECW title. In 1996, in IWA Japan, Mr. Ganesuke and Tarzan Goto bested Cactus Jack and Kaizo Matsuda and the Headhunters faced Leatherface and Soji Nakamaki in a barbed wire boards tag match. In 2001, ECW had their final pay-per-view, Guilty as Charged. Some of the matches on the card included Tommy Dreamer vs C.W. Anderson in an I Quit match. The Sandman won the world title against Just Incredible and Steve Carino in a three-way tables, ladders, chairs and canes match, but then only held the title for a couple of minutes as he was quickly defeated by Rhino. Then, in the main event, was one of the best feuds in ECW history, Rob Van Dam vs Jerry Lynn. In 2004, TNA held its 75th weekly pay-per-view. CM Punk and Julio De Niro defeated Sabu and the Sandman. Then, in the main event of the night, Chris Sabin overcame Christopher Daniels, Loki and Michael Shane in an Ultimate X that had the NWA X Division title on the line. The WWE held their New Year's Revolution show on this date in 2007. Jeff Hardy beat Johnny Nitro in a steel cage match for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. Edge and Randy Orton went to a no contest against Shawn Michaels and Triple H. And then, in the main event for the WWE Championship, John Cena regained the title against Umaga. Combat Zone Wrestling returned to the ECW Arena in 2011 and held there from small beginnings comes great things event. On this night, Adam Cole regained the CZW Junior Heavyweight Championship against Ruckus. And then, in the main event, John Moxley overcame Brody Lee in an ultra-violent grudge match for the CZW Championship. Then, in 2019 on Monday Night Raw, Bobby Roode and Chad Gable regained the tag titles against the Revival in a Lumberjack match. Then Dean Ambrose also regained his title against Seth Rollins in a Falls Count Anywhere match for the WWE Intercontinental Championship.